am embarrassed that we cannot even honor that. I am embarrassed that we choose to make a political issue out of a world-class facility. Kaya tuloy, wala nang mag-aabalang magpatayo ng mag matitino at kahangahangong mga infrastructure dito sa Pilipinas. Dahil magpatayo ka lang ng maganda, e eh sasabihin na sa'yo na may kalukuhan ka. So paano? Puro bulok na lang tayo. <laughs> Mr. President, I, I uh, also would like to apologize because I didn't really catch the entire speech. Actually, I didn't catch most of it except for the uh, picture of uh, the um, stadium that was uh, built for the Southeast Asian Games. I was uh, being distracted by the chair of the Committee on Finance and the chair of the Committee on Higher Education with their uh, stories about some people. And they uh, put on the record that they are uh, still laughing as I speak. Anyway, on that note, Mr. Chair, um, so because I cannot ask, uh, uh, I cannot go into detail no, because I did not know that uh, Her Honor would be um, taking up this subject. But the project that Her Honor has flashed on the screen is very close to my heart. Um, I am an athlete. I am also a national team player in my youth and i was there uh during i don't think i was there during the uh what do you call that um when they ano ba tawag dun yung corner ground groundbreaking ba yon? when they put the first when they I, I wasn't there then but i was there when there were only beams and i continually checked on it in the days to come mr president this is a world class stadium built in record time with the advice no less than if i'm not mistaken and i can check for the record world bank and or adb on how to finance and how to do this project mr president the southeast asian games would not have been as successful as it was if we had only the dilapidated stadium of rizal memorial of ultra May I ask her honor if she has seen the place? Because the national track and field team, when they visited it around November, not sure, uh, September, November, before the Southeast Asian Games commenced, they went there for the first time. Does her honor know that they cried when they saw the stadium? They cried when they had the opportunity to run on the turf. Bakit? Kasi doon sila nagpa-practice sa napakabulok na stadium. Ganon ang kalagayan. That's how we treat our athletes. Ilan lang ang Manny Pacquiao ng Pilipinas who has had the opportunity to raise himself and have sponsors. But not all sports are like boxing and basketball that have a strong following. Many of these athletes will never even be remembered. But on that day that we won the gold medal, the entire Southeast Asian countries gave their due respect to the Filipino athletes. I am embarrassed that we cannot even honor that. I am embarrassed that we choose to make a political issue out of a world-class facility. Kaya tuloy, wala nang mag-aabalang magpatayo ng mag matitino at kahangahangong mga infrastructure dito sa Pilipinas. Dahil magpatayo ka lang ng maganda, e sasabihin na sa'yo na may kalukuhan ka. So paano? Puro bulok na lang tayo. Para walang pumansin. Ganon. Paano magiging white elephant? Madam sponsor, do you even know what are the conditions of our sports facilities? Para sabihin mong yung world class na yun, magiging white elephant, hindi nyo ba alam na pinasa natin ang National Academy of Sports? And doon, mag-aaral, doon mag-training ang mga bata natin, mga future Manny Pacquiao, paano naging white elephant? Sana naman mag-ingat naman kayo sa mga parat mga paratang nyo, dahil yan na naman ang headlines 
Di man lang natin binigyan ng konting parangal, konting respeto ang mga national athletes. Na alam nyo ba, kung hindi dahil sa bayanihan to, eh hindi pa magkakaroon ng allowance. Hindi thanks to PSC yan, ha? Thanks to Speaker Alan Cayetano, Congressman Bambol Talentino, and Senator Sani Angara. So hinahalo ko yung mga mukha ng mga athletes na to doon sa tinatawag niyang white elephant. Kasi that is the only reason why you put up such a structure for people. In this case, for young athletes. So I cannot separate their faces and their names from the structure that you are that you now want people to cast doubt upon. Again, I do not have the details, wala akong hawak na papel, but I have to stand up for BCDA, for the architects, for the engineers, for every single construction worker that worked overtime. Madam Sponsor, alam nyo ba, 24-7 nagtrabaho yon para makadeliver tayo sa Southeast Asian Games? Di ba mas kahihiyan yun na nag-umpisa sa Southeast Asian Games tapos hindi natapos yun? Nanood ho ba kayo? Nandun ako, nanood ako. Nanood ako. Nanalo tayo ng mga kung ano-anong event. Yung Paul Volter natin, he claimed the gold. Si EJ Obiena, he's going to compete, was supposed to compete in the Olympics. Pero hindi natuloy yung Olympics. At least, nagka-Southeast Asian gold medal siya, di ba? At least, nanalo siya in his own country. Napanood siya ng tatay niya, na coach niya. Ganon ang kalagayan ng mga athletes. Madam Sponsor, yung nanalo ng marathon, taga-kagayan de oro siya. Umiiyak siya nung nakita ko siya after niya. Hindi niya akalain, mananalo siya. Alam niyo bang na-lockdown siya dito for how many months? Hindi nakauwi. O baka sabi niyo, irrelevant na yun. Hindi, hindi irrelevant yun. Kasama yun sa mga sakripisyo ng mga atlet. Tapos ngayon, ang kaisa-isang nagawa namin, natin for them, binibigyan pa natin ng mali siya. Kaya yan, yan ang mangyayari sa bansa natin. Puro mali siya tayo, puro paghuhusga. Um, I do not have the details. Wala ko akong panahon sa ngayon, naaralin yon dahil I am sponsoring CREATE and I am the Senior Vice Chair of the Committee on Finance. Pero pag pinagpatuloy pa ni Senator Risa sa ganitong panahon, na katulad nga ng sinabi ko, yung mga athletes na yan, na lockdown, hindi nakauwi, sampung buwan, walang allowance, sampung buwan, walang allowance, this is their livelihood. And all, you know, the, the only thing they have left is their pride. So when we do things like that, we slap them in the face. That is what we do, Mr. President. And when Her Honor chooses to use words like white elephant, you make the whole, you, you make the people who bother listening to us, if there are still people who bother to listen to us, the more that they question our judgment, the more that they question the things that we do to make those who need more in life, to give them a better life. And that is exactly what that project was all about. But kakainin ba natin yun? Hindi. So, Shem, ba't, ba't tinayo yun? Eh, kasi nga may purpose. We were, we were in line to sponsor, to, to host the Southeast Asian Games. Was there enough time to go through all the steps? I don't know. But I am sure there's a logical reason because the president of BCDA is one of those persons that is highly respected in this government. <coughs> he was pulled in to assist the IATF with the testing, the capacity building, putting up quarantine centers. Hindi mag-aabala si Vince Dizon na mag-cut short lang ng corners para lang batikusin ng ganito. Ginawa niya yun para matpatayuan nang may pagmamalaki namang stadium ang Pilipinas. So I, I, leave it at that, at, I leave it at that, Mr. President, but I sincerely regret, in as much as we all have the right to stand up here,
for anything that we want to talk about, we do. Kaya pwede, lahat tayo may right. Pero I sincerely regret na nagagamit ang floor natin para sirain ang napakagandang pangalan ng mga, pro mga napakagandang mga proyekto na tinayo para lang naman bigyan ng kahalagahan ang ibang sektor ng ating bansa na normally hindi napapansin. They are normally training, like I said, umiyak sila nung tumuntong sila sa tarp, sa tarp, sa tarp nung, nung uh, truck oval na yon Umiyak sila. Sabi nila, wow, ang lambot. Sabi ko, ba't saan ba kayo nagtitraining? Ma'am, dun sa, ano, dun sa truck oval na sira-sira na, sa Pangasinan. Ha? Paano kayo nakarating ng Pangasinan? Eh, wala na ho kami mapag-trainingan sa Metro Manila. And then their facilities, nakatira na rin ako sa Rizal Memorial. As I said, I was a national team athlete. Yung tinerahan ko sa Rizal Memorial nung 1983, awan ng Diyos, ganun pa rin ang itsura. Kung hindi pa natin pinatayo ang, ang track oval sa University of the Philippines, which is open to all, inabot ng mga anak ko, what, 30 years after I graduated, the same track and football field ng UP. O so siguro si UP, sinundan nila by the letter every single step. Awa ng Diyos, inabot ng apat na taon. Nag-graduate na yung anak ko, never niya na nakita yung, yung field na yun. That is how infrastructure projects in the Philippines go along. So if you don't want your people to dream, if you don't take a stand and give honor to what should be honored, the people who did right, then we'll just watch our country crumble because we're just going to be finger-pointing every step of the way. And I take offense as an athlete, as a mother of athletes, as a mentor and as a friend of all these athletes whose sole pride was to, able to, was to be able to see such a structure built in their honor questioned and castigated in this manner. Salamat po. Mr. President, um, since you mentioned that uh, by, by uh, Olympic standards, you're right, that's a requirement that you have the, uh, they call it a warm-up pool. Yo, so yo, without, yo, that, you pool. Cannot, without that, you cannot get the proper accreditation. Mm -hmm. You will not receive that highest level of accreditation and you will not be able to sponsor <laughs> international competitions. So in fact, Mr. President, <laughs> During the Southeast Asian Games, as it was happened, sa sobrang tuwa nung uh, nat, ating uh, national, um, uh, national Sports Association ng Swimming, they already said yes to host this international competition. I'm not sure if it was this year, so baka hindi nga natuloy because of COVID, no? Because they are now qualified to host those kind of swimming events, which we mm. could not do before. Uh, kung familiar kayo sa Rizal Memorial tsaka sa Ultra, hindi ganun ang swimming pool doon. And I'd also like to spread into the record, similarly for the track oval, so the ones that you would have seen for anyone here who watched it, that track oval is the main track. Pag lumabas ka dun sa stadium, there's another track, Mr. President. Mm. Kasi ganun din, it is required that there is a warm-up track. And then, in addition to that, Underneath the stadium, but really underneath, because uh, same level ng ground, inside, inside the stadium, indoor, mm -hmm. merong mga 100 meter din na track. So, pag matagal ka pa, doon ka mag-warm up sa labas. Pag malapit ka na, pwede ka mag-sprinting, sprinting dun sa loob. And then finally, in the main. All of this would not be accredited. Again, yung white elephant na inaabala nyo, Madam Sponsor, we can now host international competitions. And that will even be cheaper for our athletes because they don't have to keep going abroad. We can host. It brings glory to the country. Mura para sa ating mga athletes and uh, coaches. May, may, may facilities naman doon para matulog. Hindi ko natapos yung kwento ko, pero yung sinasabi kong natutulog ako doon sa dorm, doon sa Rizal, na ngayon ay eh, ganun pa rin. Now, we have world-class facilities nung nakita ng mga athletes na iyak sila kasi mukha daw hotel yung kanilang kwarto. O ano sasabihin natin ngayon? Ay eh, dapat hindi mukhang hotel yan. Dapat mukha lang kayong, ano, mukha lang kayong tabi-tabing uh, dormitoryo. Di ba nila karapatan yun? Na humiga dun sa hindi iniipis, na humiga sa magandang kama, na magkaroon ng magandang banyo? So yan ang kinikwestiyon natin. Anyway, Mr. President, I 
it's it's because of you na, na dinagdag ko to dahil nabanggit mo yung swimming pool dinagdag ko na rin